Hello dear friends, welcome back. You know, recently I've been observing that lot many practices are switching over to intraoral scanners as a means of going digital. This here is a 3-shape Cryos 3 intraoral scanner which I've been currently using and this is by far the best there is in the world of intraoral scanning. So in this upcoming video, I'm going to share some important tips and tricks which you can implement while using a scanner such as a 3-shape to get a seamless and a precise scanning experience. The first thing I would like to talk about is the grip. Uh, there are two types of grips available with a three shape. One of them is the pen grip and the other one is a handle grip. Now I don't really think it makes too much of a difference but it's just a personal preference that helps you to decide which one do you want. The important thing however is the way you hold your scanner. And that's what makes the pen grip slightly more versatile in the sense that I can hold it like a pen this way or I can also position my hand on top of the scanner. In fact, I can also place my hand underneath the scanner like this and add another dimension to the grip. A problem which I faced a lot initially was uh, the fact that I couldn't really make the wrist movements which you need for any intraoral scanner. Always remember, while using any kind of intraoral scanner, leave your wrist a little bit relaxed. Have some agility in there and make these smooth gradual movements as you move from the occlusal to lingual from the lingual over to the buckle. A very important aspect for intraoral scanning is the retraction of soft tissues. As you can see, I am using my finger here to retract the lip and occasionally the tongue so that they do not get into the way. This is important as sometimes when you have excess soft tissue in your scan, it can make tracking a little difficult. I can also use something known as the gate to effectively keep the lips and the cheek away. On the lingual side, I can also use a scanner head to retract the tongue. Three shape recommends a scanning distance of 0 to 5 mm for getting a good scan. But it's really impossible to measure this distance inside the mouth. So how do you scan at the right distance? It's very simple. Just observe this viewfinder on the lower right corner of your screen when you scan and if you are within the scanning distance, you will see a clean, crisp, live image inside. The moment I violate this distance, I will be able to see patches of black which indicates that I need to readjust the position of the scanner to the enter the scanning distance again. Free shape software also gives you a visual indication for the status of scanning. When you look at the 3D reconstruction on screen, the color of the square indicates the status of scan. So in case this box turns red, just take the scanner back to a previously scanned area for it to become green again. It's as simple as that. The scanner in fact also gives us an auditory signal in the form of a continuous knocking tone as an indicator for active scanning. So in case I don't have the computer in front of me while scanning, I can actually rely on my auditory senses to judge if the scanner is on track. You know, one of the difficult areas to scan inside the mouth are the buccal surfaces of the upper 7s and 8s because the light from the scanner fails to reach there. This may lead to loss of important data so it's very important to scan this area properly. To achieve this, I can ask the patient to close the mouth slightly while I scan and move the jaw to the working side. This gives me enough space to get the scanner on the buckle of the upper molars and scan this area accurately. The bite articulation is another important aspect of the scanning workflow and it's very important that we get this step right. So one of the important tips to get an accurate bite is to remove all excess tissue like the distal of the molar for example, the depths of the vestibule using the trim tool. Once I have taken off the excess, I can just take the buckle scan by having the patient's head upright. I'm going to scan the bite line first followed by a bit of gingival tissue of both arches and you can see the arches snap into place and that to me really is the best feeling that you can get while scanning. Also the drier the field, the faster is the articulation. 3Shape actually recommends a scan strategy or a scan sequence if you like. So for lowers you start on the occlusal surface, then move lingual and then to the buckle. For the upper arch, we start off on the occlusal surface, moving towards the buckle and then recording the palatal surfaces. For full arch scans, this sequence is repeated while maintaining a wavy motion to capture the anteriors. Gingival retraction is yet another important aspect which we also use for analog impressions. The use of a retraction cord becomes more important for a subgingival margin. Besides retraction cords, you may also use retraction gels or paste which are also helpful. 
I can also use the zoom mode to scan strategically important areas of my scan such as the preparation margins, interproximal contacts, etc. It's also a great tool to have when I'm scanning a highly reflective surface such as an implant abutment, making it a lot more easier to scan. My most favorite feature in the Prios 3 by far is the Analyze tool which helps me to analyze any shortcomings in my preps. It can show me if I have undercuts in my preparation which I marked in red and this enables me to make the changes while my patient is still chair side hence saving a lot of time. I can also check if I have enough occlusal clearance again with this color map red indicating insufficient clearance and all I have to do now is adjust that spot in the mouth and rescan that much portion and send the file to the lab. There's also another interesting tool on the analyze page for shade matching. This tool can allow me to get a reference of the patient's shade which can complement a manually taken shade which I will convey to the lab. So with all the tips and tricks which I've shared with you in this video, I can assure you that intraoral scanning can become a fun, a precise and a highly fruitful experience for all of you. Don't forget to like the video, share it and also subscribe to Chairside Education for more. See you next week.